do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all be back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen. Nah, I'm saying this video right here. A lot of people have been begging me to react to it. Nah, I'm saying, and I just, it's just, it's a 26 minute long video. So I already know this video right here is super long. I, I just haven't got around to doing it. Supposedly, it's it's one of the best videos made by UDY. If you guys did not know, I be reacting to their videos all the freaking time. So like the video right now for more reaction videos. If you want to react to anything specific, hit me over there on Instagram at Jupiter underscore. But listen, right? Apparently, this girl. This Trishiana, we can call her that. We can call her that. Don't nobody get mad. This Trishiana, you feel me, is cheating on two guys at the same time. You know what's crazy? I was thinking about this other day, right? Real quick. I'm not going to go for too long. Um, isn't technically when a girl cheats or a guy cheats on somebody, they, they're cheating on the person that they're with and the person that they're cheating on the person with? Because, like, okay, let's say you're clapping John, right? And then you're married to Billy. You cheating on Billy when you clapping John, but when you with Billy, you cheating on John. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get what I'm saying? They cheating on both of them. It's a double entendre. That's not the right word, but it's a double homicide. Pew, pew. You feel me? But, we finna get into the video. It's a little different today. I, I'm, I'm hungry, y'all. I wanted to watch this video, but I wanted to eat too because I'm starving. So, I got myself some food, man. We got some raisin bran. We ain't eating no snacks today. We eating a whole meal. <laughs> it was nothing on the spoon, was there? It's some Razor Brand Crunch, not the regular Razor Brand, because the ra regular Razor Brand is disgusting, but Razor Brand Crunch slaps, you know what I'm saying? I got the milk right here. I was going to pour the milk in before, but I, I didn't want my food to get, my cereal to get soggy, you know what I'm saying, while I was doing my intro and stuff like that. I drank rice milk, you know what I'm saying? But I had to put, I just put the, the, the cereal in the bowl. If you put milk before you put the cereal in the bowl, I want you to, listen, listen real closely. I want you to take your computer, Uninstall Google Chrome, uninstall Windows, uninstall Windows, turn your computer off, throw it out the freaking balcony, and maybe you'll have some time to think about how stupid you are. You know what I'm saying? It's no offense, but take offense if you pour your milk before your syrup. You're just a goofball, you know what I'm saying? But before you get into the video, Drew and I kind of see my two third free bundle, say it's $50. New Durex just came out. This is one of them right here. It says not a waiver. This is for all my people that's not waivers. If you got braids, if you got, if you got, if you, if you bald headed, if you're just working on your way, but you don't got them there yet, you need to get this. You can use code new drop on um, Durex.com to say sell 20% store wide. Um, shout out to this person for recommending it to me. Like I said, y'all can hit me over there on Instagram at Jupiter underscore send me whatever video you want me to react to. And if I react to it, I'll shout you out. This person, what the type of name is this? Y'all don't never have regular freaking names. This man's name is B E J E I F H D H D H. What the f does that mean? I'm gonna take back that shout out. What the heck is wrong with you? What type of stupid name is that? I'm not gonna do it. Let's just get into the video, man. <sighs> April 6, 2019. For this video, we decided to rent out a multi-million dollar house on Malibu Beach. It was literally inches away from the freaking water, but honestly, I don't know why someone would even build a house that close to the water. Yeah, I honestly hate to spoil it and everything, although it's a very beautiful view, I don't think I could have lived here though. Imagine a tsunami came right now. Oh, oh yeah. Dead. Oh, God. But anyways, the reason we rented that house was because we were working with this guy named Will. Now, William has a girlfriend named Jessica, okay. and she's actually already cheating on him. Yes, Will. This how we starting off, Jessica? Jessica's do be cheating. If you were Jessica, stop cheating, man, because it always be the Jessica's that be cheating. Who knows for a fact that Jessica is already cheating on him, but unfortunately, the only evidence that he has is some text messages and some old pictures of her and her side of guy. So that's why we rented out the house in order for my friend Yokes to not just hit on Jessica, but to hook up with her. Yes, the plan was for Yokes to hook up with Jessica in order for Will to catch her right Wait, is they gonna let the man Yokes clap? Is the man Yokes gonna get some yolk today? You know what I'm saying? For the video, though, it's entertainment purposes, but he's. Gonna have to clap and then confront her. Now here's the even bigger twist. The reason we chose Yokes to be the one to hook up with Jessica is because he's actually her side guy. Jessica is cheating on Will with Yokes, or is it the other way around? Is she cheating on Yokes with William? You guys are gonna find out, but you guys have to pay attention because the storyline for this video doesn't start days nor weeks, but months before we even rented the house. How does she get? How did they find him? Wait a minute, something, 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 something ain't right here. Something ain't, like, start the video, bro. Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh, he's sus? Off in December that's not kind of sus. Yeah, let's get 
DM that Jessica sent Yokes. And it was a very innocent DM, but then that innocent DM eventually evolved into a much more serious Oh, she's a Trishiana! A certified whore! To January 15th of this year. Yokes was making a new song with his very good friend, Nikki Page, and he invited me and my team to come over, have a beer, eat some pizza, and just chill while he and Nikki worked on their song. But we weren't the only friends that Yokes invited. Obviously, he invited more of his friends to come, and he also invited Jessica. And that day, ladies and gentlemen, was the first time I officially met her. But what's crazy is that neither she nor Yokes even mentioned that she watched our videos or that they even met because- This is spicy. It was this is gonna be spicy. This is great already. But after that day, I only ever saw Jessica one more time when Yokes came over, and then that was it. Now fast forward to late March. Yokes hits me up saying something like, yo, remember that girl Jessica who I brought to the studio the one time you came? I think she's a gold digger, my guy. We should test her. It took me a couple seconds to understand exactly who he was talking about, but when I did, I replied laughing because it was honestly funny and ironic. But then Yokes explains everything to me, but as opposed to me reading this to you, I just had Yokes record a video of himself explaining how he came to this conclusion. To make a long story short, about a week after I left the studio, Jessica and I, we kind of went on like a little break, okay? So we didn't see each other for a couple of weeks, Wait a minute. maybe even a month, I can't remember exactly. Okay. But I hit her up again and I said, hey, what's up, how have you been? We reconnected, um, we hung out again, then I found out she had a boyfriend. I do a lot of trading on my phone, right? This one day my phone happened to die. Jessica was there, I said, hey, can I borrow your phone for, you know, a second to get on there? So I get on the phone and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden a text message comes in from a guy named Will. And I'm like, who the fuck is Will? Who is Will? I take the phone to the bathroom. I do a little more searching. So now he's searching. I through these texts with Will and I find out, yo, know, this is her boyfriend, they're dating. So I'm kind of like, what the heck, man? And then thanks to Yokes' quick thinking, he writes down Will's number and then sends it to me. That way I can get in contact with him. And I do. So it's now the first week of April, and after a little back and forth conversation with Will, he finally agrees to meet us. So we choose a random park that was halfway between the both of us, and then we head out. Hey, man. Yo, 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 is this you right there at the tables? Yeah, I'm at the table. Okay, awesome. This is us right here in the car. Um, we got cameras rolling and everything, if that's cool. We're just gonna walk up with them rolling. All right, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we get to the park and- This is already super spicy, man. This is already super spicy. He's already knowing everybody in the video. Before the video was a video. The heck going on? I ain't even started about cereal yet. That's how I'm in tune I am. I and begin walking over to Will. I greet him, I apologize for the circumstances that we're meeting under, and then I take a seat and begin just getting to know him a little more. It turns out Will is actually from Florida, and he just recently moved- Shout to out Florida, Florida man! to pursue an acting career. And he just turns out to be a really cool guy and much more friendlier than I expected. Then I proceed to asking him when and how he met Jessica and he tells me that he met her through social media and the first time they ever talked was sometime in January and they started dating in March. So now that we got the full picture, let's take a look at our timeline and see who Jessica is actually cheating on. Will moved to LA to pursue acting in October of last year, and Yoke started talking to Jessica for the very first time in December. They had a break around late January, but then reconnected in early March and are together until today. So if Will first started talking to Jessica in January, then there's a very high chance that he started talking to her when she was already dating Yokes. But hey, you know what? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that she started talking to Will after she and Yokes split. Well, in that scenario, since Will says that she and Jessica started dating in March, then there's a pretty high chance that when Yokes reconnected connected with Jessica, Jessica was already dating Will. So, in other words, chance- Just because of certified Trishiana, I already know. I don't have to watch the rest of the video. We can skip the rest of the video, to be honest. We can skip to when they start talking, to be honest. Should I? Now nah, let me watch. Sorry, she's cheating on both of them. But anyways, I then show Will all of the evidence that we have so far, and I explain to him that I don't believe it's going to be enough for him to confront her with just that evidence, because at the end of the day, she could just deny it and say that it happened a long time ago, and technically, she wouldn't be lying. However, he had another option. Will could have someone hit on Jessica, we can record it, and then he'll have that recent evidence of her cheating on video. I'm, I'm done. I'm down to do this. Uh, okay. I, need, I need to have the last laugh. So he's down, and I tell him that the one who has to hit on Jessica has to be Yokes. Because remember, the whole reason that Yokes and Jessica even met in the first place was because of these videos, which means that she watches them, which means that if we just have this random guy hit on her in like this million dollar home, she's obviously going to catch on. You know, she might still suspect Yokes, but honestly, I think the chances are slimmer because she would have probably expected him to test her like back in January, mm -hmm. like not now. So when he accepts and understands, I then suggest the idea of Yokes hooking up with Jessica. Yes, I suggested that. But here's why. All we need is recent recorded proof of Jessica cheating on Will, right? So why not just get straight to the point? And by hookup, I just, honestly, I just meant to kiss. I didn't even mean like a makeout or anything like that. It just had to be a kiss long. Like that, man. 
for science, man. Like that, man. Hook up for real for science. You gotta get some solid proof. Kissing is not enough. You gotta get some solid proof that she's a certified Trishiana. You know what I'm saying? Where it's clear that Jessica is into yokes. And it's crazy enough, we'll concur. You know what? <laughs> At this point, I, I don't even care. Tell, tell Yokes to do whatever he has to do. I'm done with this. Are you, are, are you, are you sure? I'm 100% I mean, sure. Tell him to do whatever he has to do. Positive. I don't care about this girl anymore. I'm trying to forget. At this point, I just wanted to get caught. So Will said that he didn't care and that Yokes could do whatever he wanted to do. But honestly, I think he did care. Because when I told him that we were filming this weekend and that he should meet us at the house, he actually said that he did not want to be there. I don't want to be there for that. I don't know uh, how I'm going to react or whatever. Uh -huh. I already know I already know that she's messing around with this guy. But so you, but you don't want to be there to like, listen at least to like, what she says? Like, What if she's obsessed something about you or something? I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't want to be there. Dude. You're positive. I'm positive. Even if we were scheduled, we can make it work, man. We can make it work where you are. Like, I can't be there for that. Oh, man. no. I don't, don't want to see that shit. So, yeah, like I said, I think deep down inside, Will still somewhat cared and stuff. But in the end, he still gave us the okay to gather all the evidence on our own and for Yokes to do whatever he wanted to do. And so that became the new plan. We were going to still catch Jessica in the act, only that we were going to record it and then show it to Will later. So the weekend finally comes and we arrive to the multi-million dollar Malibu home. The first step as always is to establish our game plan and begin looking for good places to hide our cameras. You're gonna tell her her room is that one right there. You're gonna tell her that this one is off limits because we're gonna be in this one. Yeah, this is gonna be the hideout room right here. Since Jessica is one of the only people that we're testing who actually watches our videos, we had to make sure that the cameras were hidden very, very well. We got pretty creative with it too. We even hid one in like a paper bag and stuff. It was pretty awesome. But day turns into night and Jessica calls Yokes to let him know that she just got to the house. Okay, cool. I'll be there in a sec. Okay, so you might be wondering how we managed to get Jessica to the house. Well, here's how. Remember that song that Yokes was recording with Nikki? Well, they originally planned to postpone it for the summer, but I begged them, literally begged them to finish it within these two weeks that we were planning this video because I felt it was just the perfect and most believable reason to get Jessica to the house without her questioning or suspecting anything. So we had Yokes text her telling her that he rented out a house in Malibu for the weekend in order to throw a party for finishing. This is a lot of effort going into this video. I like it. But Jessica, Jessica, I, I, I'm just saying every Jessica is, is, is a G. In that song, he told her that the party was planned for Sunday night, but he was going to get there on Saturday night and that she should come over Saturday night as well to chill, sleep over, and then help him set up for the party on Sunday. And it worked. The plan went off without a hitch. Jessica was stoked and down to help. So as Yokes heads to the front door to get Jessica, we hit record on all the cameras and then we head to the room to hide. Any minute now, Yokes was gonna walk in through the door with Jessica, bring her in line of all of our cameras, and then just start smooching away. How was mm. it bad? Yeah. The traffic was not that bad, actually. It was a little hard to find out. Yeah, the street's busy. Here, uh, you can just put this over here. Okay. So Yokes re-enters the home with Jessica. He tells her where her room is, and then they head to the balcony to talk instead of kissing. Wow. Yeah, check it out. You gotta check this out. Okay. We're literally on the ocean right now. The whole time, guys, I didn't have headphones, so I couldn't hear exactly what they were saying, and I tried listening through the door, but it was still hard to hear him over all the waves. But it didn't really matter because I just expected them to kiss at any moment and Yokes to come in through the door and be like, mission accomplished. Dude, this is so cool. Right? Oh my goodness, it's literally like right there. Would you jump in right now? No. Oh, what you mean? You trying to make a doc? He trying to kill Jessica, okay, Jessica. Jessica, you a bad, you a bad woman. But does she deserve to die? No, she don't deserve to die. Man. You wouldn't? But as opposed to making things quick like I thought he would, Yokes walks back into the house and instead of kissing Jessica, he offers her a beer. You want something to drink? I got some beer. Yeah. What kind? Cool. Man, just kiss the tree. In my head, I was thinking though, you know what? Maybe Yokes is just taking it slow. Maybe he needs to warm up and stuff. Or maybe he just feels a little bit uncomfortable kissing her on camera. Regardless though, I was very confident that within a good 15 to 20 minutes, we would have the evidence that we needed. But man. I couldn't have been more wrong. Well, you know, I appreciate you coming over to help me plan it out because I need a girl to kind of obviously help me with planning. I'm not the best uh, party planner, but I think just like cut his hand. He was missing every single opportunity to just go in for the kiss and just finish this thing, but instead he just chose to talk and drink with her. He the man Yoke is really trying to fight. I'm not gonna lie to you. The man is really trying to get the. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get the Trishy on it to get inside the bedroom and get the. You know what I'm saying? He want the real footage. He's not trying to just get the kiss. He's trying to get the. That just spit. But he trying to get that kiss, man. He trying to make her not spit. You know what I'm saying? He decides to take Jessica over to the couch and talk some more. He shows her the new song that they're supposedly celebrating tomorrow, and they keep on talking. And then to put the cherry on top, Yokes decides to take her to dinner. Uh, I think there's a. Uh, 
sushi spot on the water, just like a mile down the road. You can go there. At this point, I grew a little bored. This wasn't how this was supposed to go. I began thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe Yokes just got Colt's feet or feels bad for William and doesn't want to kiss her anymore. But then I started thinking, you know what? What if Yokes still likes Jessica and doesn't want to expose her anymore? Yo, stop so being a shit! I'm about to get an answer to my questions because they both get up to get ready for dinner and Yokes walks into the room and finally gives me an update. We were talking about the party tomorrow that we're going to have for the okay. song. Okay. But we're going to go, we're going to okay. go get some dinner, have some drinks, okay. come back here, and I okay. told her we're going to go skinny dipping. <laughs> she was down. Everything made sense at that moment. Yokes hadn't pulled his move yet because he wants to take her skinny dip. Trying to see the titties. The man is trying to get a chunga chunga. You know what I'm saying? He trying to see the, ooh, ooh, booty. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, Yokes. I was like, yo, I've never been skinny dipping before. Are you down to go? You're so lucky. I swear to God, bro. While we're out on the deck, I was like, yo, have you ever been skinny dipping before? And she's like, no. I was like, me neither. Are you down to go? And she's like, yeah. Like, first five seconds. We were okay, okay. So, apparently, they had this conversation while they were on the balcony. Yo, what we should do? Have you ever been skinny dipping before? No. Me neither. We may have to go skinny dipping. <laughs> I'm down to do it if you're down to do it. It's going to be freezing, but... There's Let's do it! Jessica with the freak stuff! Freaky Jesse! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be real. I don't think this is gonna happen. I think Jessica took it as a joke. Would you do it? I mean... <laughs> I'm down. But okay, we'll see if this happens. Oh, say less! He finishes getting ready and then he steps outside to meet Jessica, who has already changed. Before they leave, Yokes offers her another drink, but instead of going to the fridge to grab a beer, he instead reaches for the cabinet, oh! pulls out some tequila, and they take a shot. Gotta get lit! And okay, maybe that tequila shot brings them closer to actually going skinny dipping. But they walk out of the house, Yokes texts me when they're in the car, and then now I'm free to step outside. The first thing I do is I shut off our cameras. I mean, I figured that since Yokes no longer has any plans to kiss her inside of the house, and instead is planning on going skinny dipping with her outside, then there's really- Hey man, Yokes trying to see some titties. I'm just still stuck on it. No reason to have them rolling anymore. But it's now been about an hour and 15 minutes, and I get a call from Yokes letting me know that he's on his way back. Do I feel bad that Yokes is planning on going skinny dipping with Jessica? Honestly, no, I don't, because I knew it wasn't going to happen. It was all just talk. What we did need to happen Wait, it's not gonna happen? to kiss Jessica. So I reset up just one camera by the door to capture that moment. Okay, text me when you're out front, that way I can hit record and hide. He's not doing it. There's no way in hell that he's He doing it. Not he doing it. I'm he so doing it. Yokes and Jessica walked back into the house, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. A part of me actually was starting to think that they were gonna end up going skinny dipping. However, for the next 15 minutes or so, all I could hear is just them talking and listening to music and taking shots. So that's when I came to the conclusion of, okay, you know, maybe the skinny dipping is not gonna happen. But they end up taking another shot, and with that much liquor in their system, I'm trying to get naked. That at any minute, they would start hooking up, and our camera outside would record everything. Man, and lo and behold, I was right. Or at least, I thought I was right because I couldn't hear anything. The waves were loud, but since I heard no talking at all, I thought that these two were interlocking lips and stuff. I figured in a couple seconds I would hear one of them laughing and talking. Instead, something. all you heard was a bowl of macaroni getting mixed. <laughs> I even figured that they might have gone into the bedroom and, you know. Yeah, yeah, we know. But seconds turn into a minute, and a minute turns into five minutes, and five minutes turn into ten minutes, and then I'm like, yo, what's really happening? Either these guys are having the longest makeout session in the world. They want skinny dipping. They want skinny dipping. Really? I can't tell. So I decided to take a huge risk and peek my head outside, but still, I could hear nothing but the ocean. So then I take an even bigger risk, and I start walking outside. And that's when finally I hear faint voices, but not- Oh, they booty balls naked in the water. They booty balls naked in the water. Actually going skinny. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Yokes and Jessica actually went to the Oh, say less. I'm low-key nervous. Dude, these waves sound pretty big. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. I was honestly at a loss for words. I did not expect it to happen. Talk about Yokes taking it to the next level. Yo, are you ready? Yeah. Yo. Let me see your towel. Uh, Ain't skinny dipping booty balls naked? Isn't that what skinny did? Does she not booty balls naked? Not that I want to see that. I'm saying, isn't skinny dipping booty balls slapping titties naked? 
I had no idea exactly how long they were going to be out there. So I decided to just play it safe and make sure our camera was still recording and then head back to the room. Again, I was just shocked and speechless. This man is really going skinny to me. <laughs> hey, you gotta take off your clothes. Skinny to me. Okay, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. So about 10. Ain't nobody. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hey, 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 the boy. Okay. Oh, okay. And so later, Jessica and Yokes return from their little date. I can just barely hear them coming in, but Yokes heads to his restroom to take a piss, and Jessica asks him if after he's done, he could show her how to use her shower. I'll and show you how to use something else, Jessica. Well, this is not for this. Wait, he's not supposed to be having fun with Jessica. He's supposed to be exposing her. I think he's forgetting the assignment. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot the assignment for a second. I, I was rooting for, for the Nico guy to get some, get some cheeks. You That's where he when he finishes, and this is where things get a little more interesting. See, Jessica wants to shower because she feels dirty from the ocean. However, Yokes is telling her not to. Instead, he tells her to kick it on the couch with him and then shower. I'm assuming that he's telling her this because he's finally gonna kiss her on camera like he should have done at the very beginning of the video. But listen closely to what happens next. What happens? Oh, we just got out of the shower pretty much. Let's just go for a second. No, I'm Sandy. I'm Sandy. You want to shower right now? Yeah, we just were in the water. It's so Sandy. Yeah. We're going to shower, okay? You can join me if you want. Name, but I feel like it's something like Nico, but he finna get the cheeks inside the shower. Join you? I can join you? Yeah. She said, yeah. Just bring the drinks, my boy. Showering together. What is your thinking? He thinking not with his head. He thinking with his other head. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wait, I had captions on this whole time? Man, I don't want captions. Right, I'm down. I'm coming in. This man is on another level. But that's oh, not all, there is one last surprise. After about 15 minutes of showering, Yokes comes back into the room with a huge grin on his face. Because I couldn't really hear what was happening through the door, I asked him to clarify things. So he does, and I was utterly shocked. But then he gets up and he starts changing and getting ready, and I'm like, yo, what, how are you getting ready for, man? And he tells me, you're in here alone tonight, because uh, I gotta go take care of that. <laughs> Ain't no way she ain't hear that laugh, man. That laugh was too loud, She wants me to go in there and cuddle with her. So Jessica now wants to cuddle with Yokes, and honestly, I should have seen this coming. I did think about stopping Yokes from sleeping with her, but I figured, you know what? The damage is already done. He was too far in, and nothing I say to him could possibly stop him now. I thought about Will and how poor William, man. That man William is. Just, he signed himself up for this. Just to, just to listen to his girl get the cheeks clapped at her. <laughs> Different and how far things would have come had he been here. Then I thought about what he said to me. Tell, tell Yokes to do whatever he has to do. I'm done with this girl. Did this fall under the whatever Yokes has to do? It does. Do, it does fall under that. It out of context. When the next morning came and Yokes texted me that he was taking Jessica out to breakfast and then breaking the news to her that he's supposedly canceling the party, I went under the house to look at the ocean and all I could think about was how I was going to tell Will exactly what happened last night. Should I tell him before he saw anything or should I just let him see everything? Or should I just tell him but not show him anything? At the end of the day, I figured, you know what? Will wanted this. I wouldn't be sparing him by omitting the truth. So I decided to text him that I didn't care what he was doing and what plans he had, but he needed to see everything and confront Jessica today. So it's now 5 p.m. and Will was able to make it to my office. Yokes makes it there too. And like I said, I then let Will watch everything. You want to shower, okay? You can join me if you want. Poor Will. I forgot Will, man. I'm over here hyped for Nico or whatever the heck the man dude name is, but I forgot about Will, my black brother. You don't deserve this. Just because of Tresciana, you should know you deserve better. And get yourself a nice melanin queen. No, I'm saying get yourself a melon and you deserve look at his face man. I forgot about Will How did I forget about Will? That's so sad. They probably got the audio from the they, This is probably all you're listening to right now And macaroni sounds mixing macaroni. That's all he hearing right now. He like bro. Come on, man You don't even sound like that with me. Come on, bro you guys showered together? They, they went skinny. We did a little more than shower together, my boy. And then after the shower. Oh wait, they finna scrap. Slut together. Yo, so you are you, are you kidding? You couldn't have just stopped it at the skinny dipping? You had to go and shower? Man, Will, 
You got to handle that. He he did clap your girl, even though she is. She, you still got to handle that, Will, bro. Go shower with her. That's what she wanted. You to have do. to go and shower with her for real. That's what she wanted to do. Obviously, Will didn't take what Yokes did with Jessica too well. But after he was done watching everything, he ended up getting up and heading to the back to let off some steam. He wasn't like super super pissed, but it was still obvious that he was upset. So Yokes decided then to walk over to explain his actions. You didn't have to fucking fuck her, bro. Bro, I had to do it to prove a point, bro. We can just. <laughs> Prove a mother effing point, man. Kiss the jaw, bro. Kiss the Trishiana. Yeah, I'm just saying. I don't know what I'm saying, man. I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. But at the end of the fucking day, dude, if I didn't do it, then you'd probably still be with her. If I just had her over, if I just had her over and just... Oh, you ain't finna clap my face, little white boy, but I slapped the crack out of you, boy. Stop playing with me, stop my... Ah, man. Where the strap at, bro? Forget the video. With her, you probably would have still been with her. Do that again. He's skinny dip with you. Why the yeah, fuck did you get the fuck with I don't know, dude. It wasn't. I'm, I'm, no hard feelings, man. For she's sure. not worth it, bro. Hey, she's not worth it, man. She's not worth it, bro. Do you still want to be with her? Think about this, bro. She was going to do that regardless. You don't even want to be with that girl, bro. She's not she worth it, bro. Shit regardless. Because she, she already went out of the and go in the fucking water. You're right, but you didn't have to fucking go in the bed with her, dude. I needed to prove the point. I'm sorry, man. Shit got out of hands. I didn't mean for it to end up like that. That's just how it ended up. We used to talk, man. I don't know what you want me to say. We used to talk, bro. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. She's not worth it, bro. That's all you got to know. Not worth it. So at this point, to let tensions cool, we decided to separate them. So we sent Yokes back to the front and we let Will chill in the back. Well, this shit's gonna be crazy. After a couple of minutes though, Will was finally ready to move on. This is, oh man. So sometimes I can't even Man, this is some quality mother effing content, bro. 6.30 p.m. comes and we get ready to confront Jessica. When Yokes texted me in the morning that he was grabbing breakfast with Jessica, I texted him back telling him that we needed to confront her tonight. So I told him to tell Jessica three things. One, that I was supposedly down to film a music video for his new song. Two, that he wanted her in this music video. And three, to come to the office that way all three of us could brainstorm ideas for this video. And well, in about 15 to 20 minutes, she should be getting here. So we set up a camera inside, this time in plain sight. And then we proceed to stepping outside to wait for Jessica to arrive. We end up hiding by some dumpsters that give us perfect cover, and that's where we patiently wait to make our move. Nervous? Not at all. No? Man. I don't, I don't have anything to be- You are in the same fit. Man, at least. You nervous about? You know exactly what you want to tell her? I'm gonna tell her that she's a fucking slut and that she Whoa. deserves everything that's fucking coming her way. Whoa. <laughs> a couple more minutes go by and we continue to wait. Yokes texts her for an update and apparently she's running a little bit late. Check it, this is so cool. This thing has a little crack that I can see right through. So we wait some more and more and more and more. But finally, after almost 20 minutes of waiting, Jessica finally arrives. She greets Yokes and it's now or never for William to make his move. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if you thought this whole video was crazy, it is. you have absolutely no idea what crazy is because you haven't seen this part. So I'm gonna give you just five more seconds to grab some talkies to munch on. I had some cereal and I ate it all before the video. Let me like the video because this is about, this is a big body banger, man. I'm like the video while you watch it because you guys already know this about to get real this shit's gonna be good <laughs> come on man i asked first what the fuck are you doing here with yokes is this what i think it is this is exactly what you think it is all right well if that's the case then i don't want to fucking do this i'm out no not until we have a fucking conversation no, you know what no. the fuck you did I don't now tell me when the fuck you where you going oh no where the fuck are you going? I wanna leave. There, the only exit is at the front. There, there's nothing back there. That exit is locked and blocked. There is no exit. The only exit is at the front. There is no conversation. I don't wanna do this here in front of everyone. This is ridiculous. This is not ridiculous. You are charged. A certified whore. Because Jessica has watched her videos already, she knew exactly what was going on. Can you please move? You think I'm just gonna let you go just like that after all that shit you did? Jessica, look, do you know what we do? You know the kinds of videos we make? This is exactly what you think it is and stuff. Like, don't you feel like after everything that happened between you and Yokes at the house in Malibu, don't you feel like you owe your boyfriend like an explanation? Just anything? Don't you feel like you should stay out of it, Sergio? Don't talk to Sergio like that! Not Sergio! Talk to your mans like that. Or the other dude with Sergio will get the. He don't care about you, Jessica. You know, so I don't care about you, Jessica. You know what I'm saying? Huh? 
Okay, I don't know how long it's been since Jessica has seen one of our videos or if she's even subscribed to our channel still or not, but if she was, today we definitely lost her as a sub. Like, what are you doing fucking with people's lives? You're effing with their lives. Go get a real job. Go woo with people. Help and We fuck work. with people. You're the one. You Yo, we did this to prove a point. You're the one that's fucking with people. You're fucking with him. I make mistakes. I don't fuck with people's lives. Also, that's what this was? That's what this shit was? A fucking mistake, huh? A giant big mistake? Fucking skinny dipping, showering together, having sex? That doesn't seem like a fucking mistake you know to what? me. You put me in this situation. <laughs> Why are girls always try to flip it on you? You got caught red-handed, bruh. Admit to your stupidness. Don't try and flip it on me. How, you go, how can you flip? How can you flip cheating on somebody? That is their fault you cheated on. That, that's like you cheat. That's like that's like me cheating on somebody and being like, it's your fault I cheated because because you're stupid and like, come on, bruh. If anything, it's your that's fault you, for enabling it. It's my it. fault. You enabled yeah, it. Well, I, it would have happened either way, whether it was with me or somebody else. Oh, so I enabled the shit. I was the one who made you fucking strip down and fucking skinny dip with him. I was the one who forced you to fucking shower with him. Jessica is ugly. I know she's ugly. Through the, through the emergency ugly, her body built like a 12-year-old boy. Man, stop playing with me. Y'all playing with this little girl, Jessica, bro? I need to take her back to pre-K. Pre Let like, her go through puberty first, you know what I'm saying? I was the one who made you spread your legs wide fucking open while he fucked you, you and had no sex choice. with him. You had sex with him, and you I was fucking me reason. No it choice. was my fault. I enabled that shit when you could have just walked away and left. Why would you put me in this situation to begin with. Muff! Y'all lucky I don't cuss. I would be cussing it. I would, ooh, I would be cussing it, Muff. Man, stop playing. You wanted him to hit on me. You wanted me to drink alcohol. To you wanted what you this would do. to happen. Do you think we actually want this to happen right here? Yeah, so you can get your dumbass views. Because this is entertaining. You're this is very entertaining, but Jessica, don't talk to this Sergio like that. Fool. I got to start coming up there. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just saying, how many views this got? 14, 15 million views, bruh. It was worth it. Enjoy this. You enjoy fucking with people's lives. What Jessica is doing is called deflecting. It's often considered a narcissistic tactic. Yep. Basically, she's trying to shift the attention away from yep. what she did and point it to what exactly. others do. And if you pay attention, she does it throughout the entire The entire time. I have another fucking choice. I have another choice. You, you had, had a fucking did. choice. You had a choice. You could have chosen not to do anything with him. But you set me up. You put me through this. You wanted it to happen. You wanted him to flirt with Man, get out my face with that, bro. You wanted it all to happen. Oh. In fact, why are you so mad at me? What if he's the one that had sex with me knowing I was in a relationship? Not gonna lie to you, that was a good point. But you still a Trishiana, man. You're okay with me fucking another dude? That, I don't see you pissed at him. Right now, that's it. I'll, I'll deal with him later. This is a fucking ploy to expose you. You're a fucking gold digger. Really? Did he tell you that he hit me up first? That's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. You hit me up first. Also, did wait. he tell you that he asked me to break up with you as soon as he found out no, I was no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? It's a plot twist. What's going on? What's going on? Will, 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 man. Will, Will, I'm sorry, bro. This was not, man. This is not how it was. Will, I'm sorry, bro. Nico playing with you, man. That's not even true. That's bullshit. You know you're fucking That's mad. why everything happened that happened last night, right? You know what happened last night? Happened because you took advantage of me. Really? You're going to try to play that card? I took advantage of you? Don't drink even try drink. to pull that card. Are you serious? Is that okay. what you're going to say right now? Drink after drink. Beer after beer. Shot after just, shot. Just, you so deflecting. Like the, you're, you're just deflecting. It's like just, just come clean. Just admit to it. Just, just, we yeah, have it. You have the evidence. Ooh. Man, Jessica, stop talking to Sergio like that, man. Don't talk to my boy Sergio like that. Okay, well you can believe what you fucking want to believe. Uh -huh. Believe what you want, but I know what. Happens. You're a fucking idiot if you think anyone's gonna take your side on this. I don't shit. give a fuck. You have your side of the story, and I have mine. So you believe that you're not a hub? Is that it? Here's what happened. You asked me to come in the shower. Man, with get you. off this. Bruce. You asked me to sleep and cuddle with you that night, and you were down to go skinny dip this. You, you know what? No. So I got earlier. You mentioned that we fuck with people's lives. Did we fuck up your life or did we fuck up your plans to fuck them over? Oh! Sergio, good one! Ten points for that one. Good job, Sergio. What, 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 what? Is, that, what, is that what you're mad at? Throw it at him. Throw it at him and I'm popping up on you, Jessica. I swear for Gazy, bro. Play the video. Somebody drop Jessica address in the comments down below. Somebody drop in the comments down below. I'm, 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 she not doing that. To, not Sergio. Oh, God, oh, you mother soul. Somebody drop her mama address. Somebody drop her mother's address in the comments down below. You know what? Move. I'm gonna fucking call the cops. Let me know. What the fuck are you arguing for? You set me up and I fell 
want to be a proud. I, I set you up and it fucking worked. Yeah, you're right. You set it up because you wanted it to happen as an excuse to break up with me. So newsflash, so I did. Admit that you, oh, oh, I know. Admit, admit what the fuck you did. Yeah. And now you're saying it's an excuse. Admit what the fuck you did. You are just deflecting and deflecting. Yeah, and deflecting. Like, 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 Don't talk to Sergio like that. Not Sergio. Come on, bro. Yo, Sergio need a bodyguard, and I'm 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 there for you, Sergio. Listen, if you watching this, you need a bodyguard, my boy. I'm there for you, cause I care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fucked him. You're fucking disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. No, get the fuck out of here, you psycho bitch, bro. I'm fucking. Shh. Fucking bitch. Yeah, I'm fucking bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. 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 What did I just watch, bro? That's some, man. Jessica, we one of the ones in real life. Me, your mama, your grandma. If you got a kid, bro, you know what I'm saying. I'm not, don't play with the boy Sergio like that. Play with Will. Actually, don't play with Will. Will deserve that. Nico, or whatever the heck the man at, bro. I'm just mad. It's real. Like she, th and she that's how females be. They be, it, they do something wrong and they deflect. It's deflect, deflect. Deflect. Y'all ever play like a, a, a game and you got the sword and it deflects the bullets and stuff like deflect. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of the video though, man. Let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. I was over here getting mad. I'm over here sweating. I'm mad. I finished my cereal and I'm still hungry. Still hungry. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Right. Before y'all dip out, drill.com, my two, there are free bundles. Say, 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 remember you used code. New drop for 20% off. I don't even know what the heck I'm finna do right now. I'm mad. I'm, I'm really mad. I'm finna find Jessica Instagram right now and go off on her on her, on her uh, cinnamon stick built self. You know what I'm saying? I, that's really about it. I'ma see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through